sector agencies, whether they be large central government departments or small local authorities, face all the sort of issues we've just we've heard about from some of the other uh, speakers around the issues of cloud computing, and then some. In addition to all the issues the private sector bodies face when they're considering migration to cloud, there are issues about public accountability, about data domiciliation, that the data resides within a certain geopolitical area and cannot be uh, copied elsewhere, and issues about privacy, managing data, whether it's on behalf of citizens or on behalf of businesses, and being responsible as guardians for that data in a way that other private sector companies may not. Uh, so there are issues that public sector agencies face, which we looked at at a first uh, International Cloud Symposium uh, in London uh, last year, organised by Oasis, and one, two outcomes from that uh, symposium. One was a recognition that there were some very specific requirements that public sector bodies faced that needed particular attention. And one of the outcomes was recognition that there was maybe some piece of work that Oasis could be involved in, in terms of taking this forward and looking at a, a potential standard. So what has happened is, and part of the standard process, and maybe say a couple of words about that, you know, when, when we, we've heard about TCs that are working, but to get a TC going, it requires a number of sponsors. It requires some members who are prepared to put the money where the mouth is and say, we think this is an important piece of work, and we're prepared to kickstart this project. So in this case, it was the uh, Ministry of Finance of the Government of Belgium, who's a sponsor level, level member of Oasis, who stepped up to the plate and said, we think this is an important piece of work, and we, want, we encourage other organizations to join us in starting a new TC, which is being nicknamed inevitably PACER, which stands for Public, or Public Administration Cloud Requirements, very simply. And the idea was to look at putting together a framework of requirements for public sector agencies that would assist the public sector in procuring, managing, certifying, accrediting and auditing cloud services as they became required by the public sector. So that work is, is sort of in gestation, we're trying to get that TC going. In the last few weeks what's been interesting is that in facilitated by Oasis staff, we've been in discussions with another organisation, the Open Data Centre Alliance, who have been doing work in tangentially related uh, areas, particularly around regulatory compliance for uh, cloud service providers to the public sector. And we're pleased that the discussions have got to the point where the ODCA is prepared to work with us to bring their work on board and effectively increase the scope of this proposed TC to take on some of the issues. And I think the challenge for us is going to be finding the right balance between regulatory compliance that companies would be required to comply with and standards which provide a safe platform and a safe environment for organisations to work and to, uh, to comply voluntarily. So finding that right balance, finding the sweet spot will be, I think, the challenge for that uh, new TC. Now, I said there were two, uh, there were two uh, outcomes of that international standards. Uh, international Cloud Symposium from last year. One was that set of requirements, and the second was that we wanted to make it a, uh, an annual event. So we have a follow-up uh, symposium this October, 10th to 12th of October, in Washington, D.C. Uh, we did Europe last year, we did the U.S. Uh, this year, and we hope that, that at that event we will also have the kickoff meeting for this new TC. So we encourage people not only to come to the symposium, but also to join up for that new TC and to watch out for the work as it comes forward.